Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for the Scrap Room, and I am sharing with you this layout that I created using Damask Love from the March 2022 Flavors of the Month kit. So um, if you watched the last video that I posted, I created a rainbow and I cut strips apart. Well, guess what? That's what I'm doing again today. <laughs> um, coincidentally, this is actually the layout, the first layout I created. Um, and so when it came to that second layout, I was like, well, I've just done this. I don't really want to do this again. Um, but they're different colors and um, uh, this is a different look. So same concept, different look. Um, yesterday's, it wasn't yesterday, Tuesday's layout. The stripes went vertical on the page. These stripes are going to go horizontal on the page. Um, the vertical strips that I did last time, they were uh, all of different lengths. These are going to be di diagonal, uh, diagonally straight across the page, um, and I am also going to stitch them. The other strips were also fully adhered down onto the page. These I've intentionally roughed up some of the edges so that I can tuck things in so that they're kind of like little pockets. Um, so what I'm doing here is I am cutting apart the strips. Um, and so this piece of pattern paper is from, like I said, the kit. Um, when you subscribe to the Flavors of the Month kit, kit you are going to get um, three pieces of pattern paper, two sheets of cardstock, and a mix of ephemera. Um, this actually does come with white cardstock, and if you know me, I'm only going to use white cardstock nine times out of ten. Um, and so I am also going to use my mix of... Um, ephemera. Now, most of this pattern paper is also fussy cuttable, and so you will see towards the end of the video how I actually um, end up with many, many more embellishments because of the fussy cutting that I do, and I don't actually need to use the pattern paper as paper, as strips of paper or frames of paper because I fussy cut into it and that is what provides the visual interest on the page there. So I'm using, this is a 1 8 inch double sided tape that I'm just putting thin strips of in the very middle um, because again I know I want to machine stitch and the less adhesive there is that's going to get on my needle the better that's going to be because it doesn't gum up my needle and doesn't adjust my tension. So I've been to my sewing machine and I've stitched um, a mix of straight stitches and zigzag stitches. Um, I've switched out the thread for each color. The only color that I didn't do, actually I think I did do the blue, but you can't see it because it ends up being covered up by things. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to do the rest of this layout at this point. Um, and so the stitching I may end up actually covering, but that is okay. Uh, so. I am uh, have fussy cut these daisies from one of the sheets of pattern paper. I will tell you that I have actually supplemented this um, because some of them are their overlapping daisies, which is fine. Um, I'm not really all that particular about it, but I did want some smaller daisies. Um, and so I just used a white cardstock and a metal die that cut, a, cut out the daisies and then fussy cut. Um, actually, I didn't fussy cut. I just sort of loosely cut out of the yellow on the B side of this um, some yellow centers. So I have these three square photos. Um, one is slightly larger than the other two of my poor cat who can't hold her own head up while sitting in a box. Um, <laughs> and so I have um, put those in a slightly staggered arrangement. And then I, my idea is, is that I'm going to break up this horizontal um, by putting the daisies in different almost in a diagonal pattern um, from the top left down to the bottom right of the page there. Um, I have left the threads loose again because I want to take away the rigidity of those horizontal lines. Um, if I don't break up these lines, your eye literally is just going to move um, across the page and that is going to be the only movement on the page so I need to break up these lines. So I'm, like I did um, on my Tuesday layout using the Pebbles collection, I am going to um, try and put tone on tone um, as you move down that rainbow of colors there. But then again, I also have these daisies that really break up that color there. Um, so again, providing the movement. Um, I am intentionally putting some of the daisies tucked into the pocket. Um, others of them are tucked 
behind other daisies and that is okay with me. Um, so just random phrases that are tone on tone. Um, this picture, these pictures are very bright. Um, the orange towel that Jasmine is sitting on is one of Nicholas's towels from Virginia Tech um, that Tech gave him. And it is a super, super bright orange. And no matter how I edited it, I could not edit that orange down. Um, and so I like the way that these colors really, um, they pop the orange, but at the same time, they mute the orange. So um, you'll see at the beginning of the photo, at the beginning of the video, how those photos really, they're glaring um, because of the orange, but, and they're glaring here, but in a muted way, if that makes any sense. Um, so just scattering out these flowers. And again, I don't want them fully adhered down. I want them loose off the page. Um, again, providing movement, they go with that, uh, those roughed up edges of the strips moving across the page. So you can see how we're going to move from the top left where the flowers are and the photos are to um, the bottom right where I've got the title. So it's not obvious is that, that that is the title because there are a lot of words on there, but the title ends up being that dream big today um, because she is napping in the box. I am at the very end of the layout going to cut out one of the word phrases from one of the pattern papers that says today will be a great day. And that goes at the top of the layout and that could be the title too. Um, there's nothing particular like this isn't, you know, swim pals or, um, date night or something like that. So it's a generic, uh, that's just what I've chosen to be the title, um, just because I have to have a title. Um, but there are tons of words. Um, you are amazing. Oh yeah, today's the day. Um, so just, you know, this is an everyday picture of a cat in a box. And so kind of everyday phrases to go with that. So um, what I have missed explaining to you while I was talking is that um, I used some vellum from my stash and some uh, leaves uh, to create leaves with a metal die. And again, just to put a shot of green and a little bit more color through that. In the add-ons for the kit, so there are two, um, at, there are actually three add-ons that you can add on to your kit. So there's a pattern paper add-on, so you get additional pattern paper. There is a embellishment add-on, so you get additional embell embellishments for each of the four collections that come in the flavors of the month, and there is a cardstock add-on. So in the add-on you get, um, to go with this kit, you get two of the washi tapes. They're going to vary from kit to kit, um, and so I wanted to incorporate that. So I actually only was able to incorporate the one with the daisies. Uh, the one with the cherries I could have put, but it would have added too much color to the tone on tone that I was looking for. So here I have cut out that phrase, um, today will be great. And I am also from the pattern paper. So again, I'm not using the pattern paper as it is paper, but I'm cutting out embellishments. I'm cutting out further things to put onto my page. Um, so you can see I've cut out three quotes here. I've cut out two and one I'm just going to cut out um, on screen. I've spared you the agony of watching the others. Um, and so those will go tone on tone and then the green will go in with that sticker where I'm going to put my journaling. Um, so remember when you are fussy cutting, you want to use sharp scissors and you want to move the paper. Um, don't move the scissors along the paper and you will get a much cleaner cut there. So that, my friends, is going to um, wrap up the layout. I'm just going to get these two embellishments. I'm going to shuffle them around a little bit so that I can get them tone on tone. Um, and that will wrap up the layout. So two in a row for uh, stitching and strips um, and rainbow. Uh, just with modified rainbow colors. Um, so if you have any questions about why I made the uh, design decisions that I did or, or the subscription, please don't hesitate to leave those in the box down below. Thank you for stopping in today. If you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you join me. Uh, come back again soon. Take care.